Well, honey, I'm going to tell them about that video you sent to me. Uh, was it yesterday or the day before? Maybe it was the day before yesterday. Kind of goes in with everything we've been talking about, all the things we've been warning about, all the discussions that we've been having specifically even today with all the things that we want to prepare for, um, for coming into the uh, new year. You have anything you want to say to everybody? Hello, everybody. <laughs> So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Welcome to the channel on this Friday night. I'm hoping to do my best to film a video here. It's very late in the evening. We finished up all the barn chores. Um, everybody's pretty much resting, starting to go to sleepy time, bedtime. And uh, I've got something important that I wanna talk to you about. It's actually something that my husband brought to my attention. He takes, I'm giving him full credit for this. Um, he sent me something that I really, really, really want you guys to check out. Okay, let's talk about it. What are you doing up there? Hey, what are you doing? Oh, okay. So, there is a lot of ruckus right now. Everybody's been fed. We're trying to get everybody bedded down for the night, quiet and eased into sleepy time. And I've been meaning to film this video all day, and the day has completely gotten away from me. We have been so busy with home and farm and everything like that today. James had the day off, so we've taken advantage of the time together to get a lot of things done. And I don't know how it happens. I just said to him, I said, I had all of the laundry caught up. <laughs> we ran in a few errands, and I've come back. And now I've got like three more loads of laundry to do. When somebody figures out how that multiplies like that, please let me know. But all the babies, everybody is doing good. We are actually up here uh, later today, also because we are trying to figure out how we want to shift a few things around because the six bottle babies down at the house, I am hoping are gonna make the transition up here, maybe tomorrow or Sunday. So we've gotta put some more boards up. We basically want to make sure that they don't have any way of getting stuck Goats can very easily, I don't know how they do this, whether they have horns or not, has nothing to do with that. They can get their little heads through, th through things. And I will tell you, in the years past, now this has been several, several years ago, um, I lost a, um, a, gr a goat kid. Not It wasn't like a fresh goat kid. It was several weeks old. Got its head, uh, pushed the gate, and it got its head hung. Uh, and unfortunately, it... Um, past due to that. Um, so I'm extremely um, leery about they can get their head hung in that, they can get their head hung in that, that sort of thing. Maybe it was like your grandmother when you were younger and she was always in fear of you choking on something. I, I had a great, great grandmother. I've told you about her a hundred times. She was always in fear of you choking. You can ask my mother, baby, that, baby that's too much. You're going to choke, baby. She had anxiety over somebody choking, okay? And if she thought you were choking, honey, she was coming in with her finger and she was swooping out stuff out of your mouth and you you were like, what did you just do? So I'm just saying, there's a process with a lot of this. I'm not sure, unless you have everything specifically set up a certain way, um, but sometimes things happen. You have extra goat kids or, you know, you have this in use and you didn't expect to. So we're having to shift some things around, right? But welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Um, I wanted to talk about what I'm about to talk about earlier today, but like I said, time just got away from me, so this video is going to be late. And also, real quick, real quick, um, I threw this out there. I've made a, a, a recipe this morning. It's not rocket science, but buddy, it sure is good. It was a huge hit here at the house. Um, some very special scones. And um, I know you people over in the UK are like, yeah, now you're getting your language right. And we, of course, us folks over here are like, honey, we don't call them scones. We call them biscuits. Yeah, yeah, we broke away from you. You, <laughs> So, it's always a lot of fun joshing around whether, is it a scone, is it a biscuit? Is it a scone, is it a biscuit? Uh, what I don't care what you call it, we're going to call it delicious. So, I probably will have a recipe coming up. Great Christmas morning recipe coming up for you here soon. But here's the deal. So, you know, I told you about the video, uh, what has it been, two days ago? Gosh, I, we're in December now. It's December 1st. I can't, where did November go? Um... And Christmas is around right here. We're Christmas time. Um, here's the deal. So there is another video that I want to send you to. Now listen, 
I'm going to put this video in the pinned comment. Okay. I love you. Don't get mad. But if you can't find the pinned comment, I don't know what to say. It's going to be the very top comment. So you need to go down to the comment section. It should be at the very tippy top. I'll put it there this time because a lot of you couldn't find the last one by expanding the description. And I love you. I know that seeing things on our phones in different places at times can be tricky. Okay. So we'll just do it that way. Okay, so if you see somebody, I, help help old girl out here. If you see somebody say, where is this video? Please tell them. It's, she put it in the top pinned comment at the top. It's at the pin, pinned at the top. Go on up there. <laughs> okay, help me out to help some of these other folks out in terms of finding the content that I'm going to be referring to. Okay, um, the gentleman's name is, I believe, is, is it Adam Taggart? I have never seen his um, channel before, um, and uh, I've, I, I did subscribe to it today uh, because I listened to, I've been listening to the video again. I actually have sent it to my brother-in-laws. I've sent it to my friends. I've sent it to my daddy. So I even called my dad about this video. I really did. I called my dad this afternoon and I said, are you listening to these videos I'm sending you? And he's like, yes, yes. You know, of course my daddy's like, yes. I said, well, I've got another one coming and I want to give you a heads up about it, okay? So expand your text and hit that YouTube link and please listen to this. Okay, so this channel a couple of days ago had a gentleman on named Simon Hunt. Now, as you know, I'm a YouTube channel that uh, we talk about a lot of different things about homesteading, cooking, baking, um, obviously preparedness and um, events that are happening around us all the time because guys, it affects everything that we do. You, you're not escaping the, the inflation and the politics and the world affairs, even if you're out milking a goat every day like me. All of these things affect all of us and our children. And I think it's an important conversation to have, especially when you are talking about the economy, especially when you are talking about financial collapses or when you are talking about rece rolling recessions. Isn't that interesting language? Uh, or worse than that, uh, like I said, a depression or an economic collapse. Now, you know as well as I do, that here on this channel, we've been talking a long time about the fact that uh, we've been in a recession for a long time. You can throw data, throw data in front of me all day long, but we all know better. And like I said the other day, again, I, I will be on repeat. Um, I think we're already in a depression. We don't act like we're in a depression because I think people uh, are going with the narratives. I, I think going with the narrative is very safe for a lot of people when i'm what i mean by that is it's very safe feeling to go okay well inflation is a little bit high things are tough yeah we need new leadership um etc cetera, etc cetera. but hopefully we will manage to come out of this we're not even in a recession yet well i'm going to send you to this video it's going to be linked like i said in the top pinned comment uh, I'm not going to go into the details of everything that's said because number one, it isn't like it's like an hour and four minutes. Very detailed, very detailed, very easy to understand. Again, that's why I'm pinning. This is why my husband sent this to me because it go it falls in line a lot with what the other video. If you listen to the one from the other day from the Jay Martin show that I sent to you, it actually falls in line a lot with what that gentleman was saying. Folks, these, these folks are our elders. They've been around for a long time. They are far more of an expert in terms of the economy and different things like that than, than most of us here probably will be. But let's be honest, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that we're in hard times and bad times are coming. It's not rocket science, guys. But it is nice to feel that you are being validated in the things that you are seeing, that people that um, have a little bit more knowledge in, in this area are confirming what you feel is here and or coming. And I'm going to say this. Um, if you had to take a deep breath and sit down over the video that I sent you to the other two or three, two days ago to the Jay Martin show, you better hold on to your drawers. Okay. Hold on to your drawers because I'm, I'm trying to be a little bit funny because it's very stressful. Um, when you talk about a lot of horrible things coming our way, uh, guys, I'm just going to put it to you the way that I took it. It's you better have your butt in gear now and you better have your set 
yourself set as much as you possibly can as early as this coming spring, April. Um, and, and you'll understand why when you listen, when he talks about the crashes, um, he talks about, I'll give you a little a tidbit, he talks about rolling recessions that uh, I, I've never heard that, but it makes sense. It's, it's this, that rocky road that we've been talking about, right? The road, this road is going to be really rough and bad. It could be a bad economy. It could be a recession. It could be job losses. It could be inflation. Uh, it could be a lot of things that are really bad, but it's not the worst. And then it's not the worst of the worst. He also talks about how all of this relates to civil war. Um, competition between countries and other wars. I mean, I, like I said, um, when you listen to it, it's very deep. You may have to dissect it in two or three segments. It's okay if you have to do that. I did not because I couldn't handle it. It was just because I get distracted with goats or something like that. But I am saying if you can listen to the, I would highly recommend that you at least listen to the first 15 minutes at a minimum. I, I really would try. I find that you will also, once you do that, even if you have to pause it, you will come back to finish. I also encourage you to share this video, uh, my video, referring them to them if you want to help it have, have a lead in, and that video, that's them, uh, the video I'm telling you as well. Folks, I'm going to say this real quick and easy, and we will be talking more about it in coming videos, okay? hard to have this conversation as we are entering the most sacred and holy time of the year, which for us as Christians is, you know, celebrating Jesus is every day, okay? But traditionally, we recognize a lot of things during, you know, in the month of December, um, and, you know, we like to really have a very special holiday with family and friends, and I do believe you can still do that, but I am going to say this. Make the holiday and the new year very special. You don't have to spend a lot of money to do that. Try to think of ways to make it extremely meaningful. But I'm going to tell you right now, I would be pulling back on any and everything that you can in terms of spending your money. Watch this video and I think you're going to come to the table saying, I know she's right. This is just some of the conversations we've been having today. We try to be very frugal here on the farm. We try to make our dollars count and stretch. We try to remain as debt-free as, <laughs> as physically possible. Um, we don't have credit cards. I'll just go ahead and tell you that. I mean, we really do try to be smart with our money, but we are going to try very hard as of this weekend, uh, making plans to be smarter. What that means for you, I don't know. We can have lots of conversations, but I can tell you that little Jimmy and little Susie for Christmas... I would be going bare bones. I mean, I, I don't want you or your kids or special people in your heart to go without a little something if you want to even just make them something for Christmas. But I am saying, even if you're doing quite well right now, okay, and God love you if you are. I'm, I hope every one of you, I hope every one of you made a million dollars today, okay? But if you did, if you have that million dollars or whatever, if you can make sure very quickly like I've told you before, get out of debt as much as you can. If you can go as far as paying off a car or your house, I know that's a stretch for a lot of people, but it is doable for some. I don't know why, what, what are you waiting on? Don't wait on it anymore. Make sure your home has home and farm and cars and the important nuts and bolts of your home. Like I've said before over the past two to three weeks, haven't we? Septic system, do your toilets work right? How is your heat and air working? Um, make sure, or how are the tires on your car? Do you need a new battery? The nuts and bolts of your existence in terms of where you live and, and your vehicle so that you can get to work and back, get to the store and back, make sure that's where your money is being sunk into, okay? The kids are just gonna have to suck it up this year, okay? Get them a little something. Get them something that is useful for them to use for their education and or for them to wear, especially in the future. If you want to get a little something small that's special for them or whatever, I get it. But don't you dare spend all your money or break the bank on that stuff. You better make your dollars count. 
please listen to this video. Consider what I'm saying. We're going to continue to talk about frugality and ways to save money, um, the things that matter. Um, and we need to put our minds together really quick, y'all. I mean, we've been doing that for the last two and a half plus years about storing food away in your pantry, paying off your debt, your medicine cabinet. I See, you have to sit down and, and with you, your spouse, maybe your grown kids. I don't know your situation, okay? And you need to realistically assess where are we today? What are we making? What is our budget monthly? Uh, where are we? How, what are some things that we can allocate to this to get it how we want it. Maybe you need a new uh, water heater in the basement. Maybe you absolutely ha are in line to get a new washer or dryer. Please take care of the nuts and bolts of your existence so that you can function with ease. That should be the top priority right now. Because folks, you don't need to just, we don't need, I'm not lecturing you. I'm just talking this out because I'm stressed about it too, y'all. We're trying so hard. Just keep trying. So, do, like I said yesterday, don't you dare give up. And especially, guys, we got a rough year coming, okay? And we, there's probably going to be things thrown at us or occurrences and things that we can't even talk about at this moment because we don't even know what they are yet. It could be a health crisis. It could be all kinds of different things. So this is what I'm saying. The more that you allocate your funds, whatever you've got into securing your pantry, your home, your basic needs, your socks, your blankets, uh, your medications, things for your animal, forget the rest. This Christmas is about being in recognizing that you are blessed to have the opportunity to be in survival mode and warrior mode for not only yourself and your children and our country, but for God. Check out that video. I appreciate you being here. I'm gonna go down and close the chicken coops with James. He's probably done by now, bless his heart. He worked so hard, y'all, bless his, bless his heart. But he wanted me to send this video to y'all. He sent it to me. He said, I want you to check this out, take a deep breath. And I, I told him, I said, you think I should tell, tell? He's like, yeah, I want you to tell him. You've been telling them, but keep telling them, baby. So, like, subscribe, and share. We'll have some videos coming up on some recipes. We'll do some holiday things, you know. We're going to continue to, we're just going to, guys, I'm going to truck along every day. And if you want to truck along with me, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And we'll do it together, all right? Make it count. I love y'all. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Video's coming your way. And I just appreciate y'all's time. God love you. God love the USA. Godspeed and we'll see you on the next video.